<laughs> oh, yes. Get snack upon. Neck bite. This is Sin. Sin is a character from the niche horror comedy series Murder Drones by Glitch Productions on YouTube, created by Liam Vickers. And I'm gonna make her real. This. This is a life-size, 3D-printed Sin model. Well, as life-size as my guesstimates can get. Standing fully upright, she's about 4 foot 3 inches. Most of this is a temporary static model while I design the animatronics. Uh, oh yeah, she's um, <laughs> she's gonna move. Here you can see she has a screen in her head that displays her eyes. Here's a quick run-through of her basic emotion states. Neutral. Annoyed. Sad and surprised. Solver. Currently, she can talk and listen, change her expression to display her current emotion, move her eyes to track faces, recognize various objects, and bring them up in conversation. Oh, and the entire thing is controlled by AI. Can you tell me what you see right now? Fuzzy gaze. You are looking at me. No, uh, can you tell me what I'm holding this time? Curious gaze. Studying the object. Ah, a bottle. Flickering interest. Light sip. Wanting to know more. Whispery query. What's inside? <laughs> it's isopropyl alcohol, Sin. You can't drink that. Okay, here is the next object. Can you tell me what this is? Fascinated gaze. Scanning object. Ah, uh, yes. Excitedly nod. It's a... Pauses for dramatic effect. Keyboard. Light nod. Curious glance. Scanning. Oh, shiny thing. Flicks eyes. Ah, uh, yes. You're holding... Pauses for a brief moment. Scissors. Sheepish nod. So that's where Sin's at, or at least at the time of recording. I kinda already have more stuff done by the time this is uploaded, but hey, more to see you later. Anywho, I'll answer some questions here and talk a little bit about the project. Stick around to the end to find out how you can directly contribute for free in what I think is the most creative and potentially regrettable way possible. Solver have mercy on my soul. Sin's eyes. I know they appear kinda white on camera, but in person they're a very vibrant yellow. Here's a PNG of her actual eye. The mouth. I did sort of answer this on Reddit, but I'll go over it a bit here. I'd have a neutral mouth shape with anchor points underneath each corner and edge of the mouth and any necessary points between. My idea is to make an outer layer of the face's lower half using a flexible yet sturdy silicone. These anchors would be attached to small cables running in the back of the head where the servos will pull them into the intended shape. The silicone layer would sort of slide over the main surface and allow for the mouth to go from one side to the other stretch all the way across, etc., allowing that huge range of motion we see in the show. The silicone I want to use is the exact same I will use for the skin. I'll focus on the Tessa skin first with just a cosmetic face and then add the working mouth when I get there. I got this idea using cable actuators covering a wide area from Stuff Made Here's Ball Seeking Hoop video. Will he do the tongue, you ask? You're goddamn right. That one's easy. I'll probably just do a static floppy silicone tongue at first, maybe later put a continuum arm mechanism inside it to give her full control. So like sticking it out. <laughs> or silly stuff like. Leg. The plan is to make both Sweet Bean Maid Sin and everyone's favorite skin suit robo vampire girl being somewhat interchangeable. For the hand, I want to use the dex hand of E1. I may have to modify it to remove a finger, but scale and function are pretty great for Sin. Here's a little demo of the AI controlling the hand. What is 3 minus 2? What is 2 plus 2? Can you give me a thumbs up? That virtual hand will control the real hand at the same time, and these aren't pre-programmed positions, it can make up its own based off of what it thinks is normal. Now for the voice. If you haven't seen the last video, this is not a voice clone of Sin. I am not going to clone her, nor am I going to ask her if I can. Now that we're at the end of this update, you're likely wondering, what did he mean by we can contribute? One thing I need to do that is extremely time consuming is training Sin's conversational model to behave like Sin, which means thinking of things she'd say, and as she'd say them, typing them out, and building up enough data to best influence her. 
yeah, I think some of y'all are seeing where this is going. If you want to contribute, leave a comment down below of something Sin might say as she would say it. If you can't think of anything from the top of your head, look at other Sin comments and reply to them as Sin would reply. Make a cursed game of it. See who can develop the longest and silliest comment threads. Once that tire fire burns for a while, I'll do the nightmarish task of painstakingly plugging them all into the training data, bracing myself for what I can only assume will be a rational, well-behaved AI. Asking the murder drones community to roleplay as sin on a mass scale, what could possibly go wrong? Now have fun and remember to silly responsibly. I'm gonna go wait on my sin plush whenever she's done snacking on the worker drones at the warehouse. She'll probably be in soon.